Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is another Java video. So today we're gonna talk about uh, collectors. Um, that's an interesting um, Java 8 feature um, in order to finalize some sort of a string processing you might do. Um, people tend just to use the to list uh, function on the collectors, but there's much more we can explore. Um, so, um, I made this video today because I want to show some, some things, some cool things we can do. So, let's, um, get started. So here, um, is my, my IntelliJ, I am in, in Zen mode. Um, so one thing you can do, so here I have a array list with a list of names, um, and then we hold this variable as a list of a string and then I'm gonna start a string um, and then I wanna do a map function because I wanna get each of one of these elements and I wanna pass it to lowercase um, some people um, you know do things like they get the variable let's say so, so this is like an element all right and then they do the element to lowercase um, but this is not needed, um, so implicitly you can just pass uh, the function, uh, the statical function, um, and then in that way uh, you're, go you're gonna have the same effect but with less code, so that's an interesting trick. But then to the collectors, right, um, so whatever you do, if you have a set of uh, maps and filters and whatever computation you're doing here, um, you often finalize with collect. So you have these collectors, and there's multiple things you can do. One interesting one is to map. So you can create a map um, from this uh, computation. So as you can see, my base collection is a list, um, is a list of strings, and I want to create a map. Um, and sometimes you want a map because you have fast lookups, and, and that might be better for the algorithm you might be doing. So when you call to map you need to tell what you're gonna be your key and what you're gonna be your value so here i'm saying the key i want is string dot new uh which means is um for every element that collect being called so so first time we would call it by diego and so on and on on this list um i'm gonna do string dot new meaning um i'm gonna create a new string with that same object uh, in java there's a pattern called flyweight where strings are cached. So actually, this will not create a new string. Um, so actually, uh, because we're using new, it will. Uh, uh, we're going to have a new uh, pointer, actually. Um, but under the hood, there's a flyweight. Um, so that's the key. But the value, you see this function dot identity. Um, this means um, what's happening here is um, wherever you pass, it works like an echo, right? So if you pass X, you get X back. If you pass Y, you get Y back. So whatever value we receive, uh, we're gonna return it back. So here, it will be the same value as the key. So both key and value will be the same. And here, uh, we print the names. So that's that's one usage for collectors uh, to map. Then, there is a new one here. Again, uh, I have a list. Now I have um, a list with some duplicates. So I have Grêmio and Barcelona. Um, and then, um, let's say I want to collect um, non-duplicates, right? Um, so basically, you can do collectors to set, and then you're going to have a list only with um, duplicates. Uh, of course, here you know idea is screaming here because you know we could do something much more interesting right um therefore you know if i go here i can just use the hash set constructor right it will be much more simple if i'm not doing any computation but the collectors is cool because um not the collectors but the strings of the collectors because we could do uh, more interesting computing here like for instance let's say i want to filter um and the element, right? I don't want the element uh, to start with um, some specific ladder, right? Um, so let's say E uh, 
starts with B so I don't want a teams starting with B right and I want to filter based on that so you can see that uh, IT is not screaming anymore because now we are doing something uh, more like a filtering here right so uh, actually we are removing Barcelona and there's like one two three four grammars it will be one because you just want to unique um, names there right um, so that's another collector collectors to set that's interesting if then you want to get like a unique uh, list here's another example um, where I have a list of uh, cities so um, there are five cities here um, and then um, one thing you can do is collectors joining uh, which means this is like um, you know joining uh, on a string basically we're gonna concatenate whatever string element with this world right so it will be Porto and then concatenated with this world and Cabo and so on and Rio and so on um, this is interesting if you want to um, you know add something either uh, before or after the word um, and that's a cool feature here it will be after right but if you want to do before um, you can get the element and then you know you can do the lambda here uh, and then you can code to do something more interesting if you prefer uh, but that's another interesting usage of collectors right you can use collectors uh, not only to just collect because what we see here in the past we just collecting right so, so you're collecting a map or you're collecting a set but here we are collecting a list but also we are doing some processing here um, and finally I think that's the most interesting one uh, is the um, summary statistics uh, capabilities so let's say I have a list of numbers um, here right um, and it they could be in multiple things right so this could be ideas um, could be values, could be salaries, um, it could be summarized values, whatever. Um, then when you do streams and you do collectors, use this special collector so called summarizing. And there are different types. There is summarizing for double, for long, I'm using integer. And then um, I want then uh, to use integer value off to be able to create an integer for me because you can do any transformation here let's say your list is not an integer but you want to transform an integer so that's why uh, we are passing this parameter here um, you may be wondering right but then once you do that uh, in my case because I'm using int I'm gonna have an int summary statistics we're gonna in, in 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 one batch right let's say in one for loop you're gonna calculate a bunch of things for me like uh, maximum minimum average count and sun and that's pretty useful um you know sometimes we need to do this kind of computations and then here you can get an all at once um and you don't need to use all of them of course uh, you can just get one or two um or or then if you need in your code but this uh, saves uh, a lot of typing so now let me run this so you guys can see um, so here basically you can see uh, on the first collectors I was doing two map as you can see the map key and values are exactly the same the second one you can see I removed uh, any team starting with P and also because I did collectors to set I removed duplicates and you can see it works really well um, in, in the other collector I use joining and you can see I concatenate after the element uh, the word value so as, as you can see value concatenated everywhere and finally i'm showing the summary statistics of this uh, int summary statistic collector um, and these uh, are the results so the max value is 42 the minimum one the average is 20.875 uh, there's eight elements there and the sum of these elements is 167 right so so that's what i got for today guys i hope you like it um, see you next time. Take care and cheers.